In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this drip effect. Before we get started, if you want to download the files and follow along, you could do that. I'm going to leave a link in the description. All right, let's go here to the left. Select the object selection. Let's go ahead and select the skull. And let's go ahead and make a copy. Let's do a control J. Let's go to the drip PSD. And I'm going to do control A. Control C to copy. Let's go back to the skull. Control V to paste. Let's go ahead and zoom out. Let's do control T. I'm going to hold shift. Bring the size of it down. Kind of like that for now. And zoom back in to change the opacity to 50. And let's go ahead and align the left kind of like that. Control T. Hold shift. Bring it in like that. And we just want to align the left, see right there, and the same thing for the right, hold shift, bring that in, about right there. So make sure that's good, hit enter, and just bring the opacity back up. Now let's go to the drip layer, I'm going to hold control, select the layer, we'll make a selection like that, I'm going to disable this for now, select the skull. Let's go down here, select the mask. If I disable this, you can see it like that. So I'm just going to create a new layer underneath the skull. I'm going to fill that in with white. So I'm just make sure that's white. All backspace. Now let's select the mask on the skull layer. I'm going to select B for brush. And just make sure that's white. And hardness all the way up. Size maybe about 89 should be good. And I'm just go ahead and uh, brush that in. All right, so I think that's good. Now let's go here to the left. Select the smudge tool. Select the skull layer, not the mask, but the skull layer there. And I'm just going to zoom in. And bring this back. So there's a trip right there. So I'm going to select that and make sure, let's do strength at 80, I'm going to keep it at 80. And let's go ahead and smudge it until that fills up like that. Bring the size of this down. So we just smudge it in until all the drip layer is uh, filled in like that. So right there. So if you bring this back, you can see where all the drip is at. So that's good. So we need that one and that one. Let's go ahead and bring the size of the brush up. Bring that. Smudge that down. Same thing here. And let's enable that. Make sure we got everything. All right, and that looks good. And let's zoom out. And let's go ahead and create a new adjustment layer. Select the levels. Select the clipping mask. And let's double click this. Let's bring the highlights, let's darken it like that. Darken the mid-tone just a little bit. And let's go back down to the skull. Let me um, smudge that, so select that, make sure the smudge. Select it, bring that. That's looking good. All right, now select the levels. The mask, let's do control I to invert it. Select B for brush. Make sure that's white. And hardness all the way down. Bring the size of the brush up, kind of like that. And let's go ahead and uh, 
brush that in like that. And we might want to lighten this side. So let's go ahead and uh, create a new levels. Select the clipping mask. This time let's bring up the shadow like that. And the midtone like that. Same thing, control I. B for brush, make sure that's white. And let's go ahead and brush that in. All right, so before, after. All right, now let's enable the drip layer and let's change that to screen. Let's bring the opacity down. You know what, let's change that to soft light. And let's do 50. And select the mask, B for brush, and make sure that's black. Let's get rid of the hard line right there. So before, after, so just a little bit. All right, now let's open up the texture. I'm just doing Control A, Control C to copy. Let's go back to the skull, Control V to paste. I'm gonna zoom out, let's do Control T, and I'm hold Shift, and let's bring it down like that. Hit Enter, let's go ahead and zoom in, and let's go ahead and bring that up. Change that to Multiply. And let's go ahead and bring the opacity down. Let's do about, let's do 40. All right, maybe let's do, let's do 50. So I like that. So I'm just going to save this.